like this it is looking neat and clean but you can also quite easily remove this cover and make it look raw bringing out that speaker sexiness oh my goodness wow this thing is loud Got a new drip from Edifier, the D12 sound system. Let's check it out. So this is the box. This side, then, well, it's the front, obviously. Edifier D12 also on top. And lastly, this side right here. Uh, yeah, never mind the first box. That was just the cardboard cover. Anyway, so that's the real box right here. D12 stereo Bluetooth speaker by Edifier, of course. On the other side, we have the product picture. On the top of the box, we have a short features overview, line in, aux in, 70 watts RMS, four woofers, a wooden enclosure, Bluetooth 5.0, and you can use this all over the world, basically. On this side of the box, we have the contents, we have the speaker, we get a remote control, we get an audio cable, two actually, and the manual, of course. And on this other side of the box, are the features in detail, we'll take a look at that later. Okay, so let's open up this one. So on top we have the manual, the remote, the two audio cables and this protection layer. And that's the speaker right here. There we have it, it's all wrapped. So here we go, as you can see, manual, two audio cables, remote and the speaker system of course. Okay, let's check out the accessories in detail. So these are the cables, we have aux to chinch and chinch to chinch. Then here we have the remote, back side, and then right here if we pull this tab out, this little tab, well it's now activated, and that's the power source of this little guy, a CR2032 button cell. And lastly, let's check out the manual. So thick one, multi-languages, well, multi-language, one and two, three and four, five and six, seven, eight, nine and 10. And that's the end of the English, English section. And that's the back of the manual. Done with the unboxing, let's get to my first impressions. So that's the thing right here, first impressions, it's looking really nice. On the front we have this grill, well this cover, this is a fabric mesh. On top we have three dials, bass, treble and volume input. And the top has a some sort of a leathery texture to it. Actually let me show you, so we have the three dials right here and this nice looking texture right here. Yeah, right here. And then on the side, we have a wooden body. As you can see, we have this wood texture right here. And it's also looking really nice. The bottom also features this leathery texture. And on the back, same story basically. And also back here, we of course have the inputs. We have line out, aux in and line in. And we also have the power switch. And here we have a close up of this, of the data down here. It has a good weight. Oh yeah, and of course it also has rubber feet down here, so four of these pads. Perfect. And almost two meters of cable length. Good stuff, now let me tell you all about the specs and the features. So before we get to the features, let me try to remove this cover. Oh yeah, it's perfect. Comes off very easily. And now look at that, this is looking awesome. So first of all, as you can see, this is a stereo speaker and it's designed for desktop use. We have a wooden enclosure to minimize acoustic resonance. We have Bluetooth 5.0 for that stable connection. We have a 19 millimeter diameter silk treble unit, three fourths of an inch by the way, and a four inch or 116 millimeter mid bass unit for accurate responses in all frequencies basically. We have a lot of connectivity, we have aux, we have line in and we of course have Bluetooth. There is a theater or music sound stage selection, top mounted volume control and a wireless remote for easy adjustment. And we also have a front facing reflex port that is designed for a wider sound stage and powerful bass. So yeah, we have a bass reflex 
case and you can see the holes right here so one hole for one speaker and this ensures higher efficiency and also deeper bass compared to a closed case so pretty awesome and also that's the infrared receptor right here not bad right next up is performance usability and a good old sound test back to back let's go all right souped up let's turn it on blue light right here that's the pairing mode i guess so all right there we have it edifier d12 nice and we are ready for a test oh let's go Wow, this thing is loud. By the way, the quality of these knobs is exceptional. They feel and handle great. Really sturdy. They have a middle position. It will lock in. You know, it has this little snap in position. They are smooth turn. They only have this middle position, but the volume knob as you can hear, this is a digital dial and it has this grid basically. They are analog and they go from min to max. And yeah, this one you can turn this all the way around as much as you want. Oh, you can also press this one. They feel really good. It's crazy for this price point. It's amazing. By the way, I just noticed that you can actually extend the speaker system too because there is a line out on the back. So you can add an additional subwoofer as well. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay, let's go for the sound test. Got my Zoom H6. Two expensive microphones. The KM184 in a stereo configuration. That's the XY configuration. Should be pretty optimal for the stereo system. I can't go too loud because my room isn't optimal to say the least. So medium loudness. And now let's see. Okay, recording. So the first sample will be acoustic guitar centered. Okay, the second sample will be the bass test. Monkey dick. All right, not bad. And lastly, let's go for something, something. Okay, let's go for an NCS song. Not bad, let's go. So by the way, that's my TV right here, my setup. The D12 is down here. It's looking quite small in comparison, but trust me, this speaker is not small. The TV is just huge, 65 <laughs> inches. Anyways, I have no sound system hooked up to this TV. I have this little subwoofer computer <laughs> sound system. It's sounding really bad and it's not hooked up to the TV. I use it for listening to music because it gives me a good bass, but the sound quality is trash. So, and up here I have a, like a little PC keyboard and let's actually get rid of that. Yeah, and I want to make the D12 my TV speaker because the sound is actually great. So this is what I came up with. The platform is way lower now so that I can still put my PC and keyboard on there 
and it is now connected over the aux cable to my TV. And the best thing is I was also able to extend it, well, to actually add the subwoofer down here. No sub. with the sub but the problem is it's sending the line out and my whole system down here is playing so that's bad i would need a frequency well a, a filter a cut off a low pass to only activate the sub but i don't have that it's clearly not optimal when both systems are playing but you have this possibility to extend this system with a subwoofer and that is Awesome. Now I have a, a proper speaker for my TV and it's also looking great. By the way, I just used it over Bluetooth and when I want to use it with my TV, I need to change the input. Blue light and green light for the aux in. Blue light is Bluetooth and the green light is for the external input. So as you saw, the D12 speaker system is surprising in many ways. Like this, it is looking neat and clean but you can also quite easily remove this cover and make it look raw, bringing out that speaker sexiness. Awesome build quality, awesome sound quality, especially for the price. I mean, how is this even possible? How is this so affordable? It is crazy. Even the dials, it's... It's so good. Also, many, many use cases. I can definitely recommend it. It's awesome. It's definitely drippy. <laughs> Definitely. All right, before you go, smash that like button, then subscribe, ring the bell and click all to never miss amazing tech magnet videos. That's it for this one. Enjoy your day and I will see you soon.